All right, so today I'm going to show you guys how to finish your batik projects by removing the wax. First thing you're going to want to do is to remove all the tape from the board or the cardboard that you have your batik adhered to. Just throw that away because you're not going to use it again. And notice the back and the front. Be sure that your wax went all the way through. Like I can see right here where this wax did not go all the way through the fabric. Before I um, were to die, I should have went back and fixed that. So right now I know that I'm probably going to have some problems when I remove my wax with that area. All right, so what you're going to do is get that board and keep that board under your spot. Heat up an iron. And you want to be careful with the irons because you know that they're hot. Always assume it's on and it's hot when you grab it. And always when you're not using it, make sure it's placed away from you and don't touch the edges. That would not be too smart. And I'm going to take a sheet of newspaper and put it between my batik. Now I'm using a smaller project for my video, but I'm going to show you in a moment after I put newspaper under it and over it, you're going to take the iron and slowly rotate it over the surface. Now this isn't something you can do right away. You're not going to be like, voila, wax is gone. It's going to take you a little bit of time to remove all of the wax. So what's happening right now is the iron, which is really hot, is soaking up all of the wax. It's heating it up so it's soaking up into the newspaper. And if I open up my newspaper, you'll see that that wax is starting to come off. And notice the white line that's starting to happen on my batik. You will have to continually change your newspaper and get a new sheet and put your batik right between it and once again start that same process. And to be honest with you, it's going to take a while. You won't be able to do it in two or three pieces of newspaper. Um, the newspaper that has the wax all over it, Honestly, you can actually take that, fold that up, and put it back in the recycle bin. We can still use that as a surface to paint on just because it has wax on it. Does not mean we need to throw it away. We can save that. I'm always into recycling. Oh, look at that. Now, can you guys see how that yellow wax is starting to disappear? I'm going to continue with another key piece of newspaper. And you can even see it on the back here, how that image is starting to really show up. And remove that wax. All right, so when you're done, you can just take the iron, unplug it, set it in the middle of your table so it can cool because once again it's hot. And once all the wax is removed, you can take it and you can wash this under the sink and wring it out really good and hang it on the clothesline. And that'll make sure that everything has been. Uh, done the way that you want it. Now, one of the things you can do if you say, oh man, I really don't like this white line here, you can go back, re-wax it in color areas and fix some of your mistakes. But um, I really like how clean this line's showing up. I think that some of the lines in here showed up pretty nice. So I could go back and say, you know, I don't like this. I'm going to turn that back into blue. I can go fix that into a dark blue. And I can re-wax areas and go back and hand paint in some of the colors. Maybe even fix maybe that, that spot right there. Alright, so if you have questions, watch this video again or just ask me in class.